Day eight, welcome back. Here comes the sunscreen and my cat ears. Hello, friends. Hi, welcome. My name is Dana. Sorry, I'm just preparing because you know what? We got to get through this today. <laughs> um, hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Whoa, this is a look. But you know what? If you're here, you already know this about me and you know that you're here for the sunscreen review. So, Without further ado, today is day eight and we are reviewing Tokobo? Tokobo? How do you say it? I don't know. I guess I could have looked it up, but I feel like there's gotta be an accent somewhere. I'm gonna say Tokobo. So I apologize. I know that's probably not ideal. These are Korean though, so I just don't know. And I'm going to be reviewing both of them. This is the, what is it? Bio Watery Sun Cream, SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 four pluses and then we have the soft sun no cotton soft sun stick wow can't read and this is P spf 50 also pa plus 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 so four pluses so this is your stick and this is your liquid and we're going to put them on my face and i'm going to talk about them for day eight am i losing my mind a little bit as we get closer and closer to day 14 absolutely <laughs> but that's okay because i'm having so much fun i'm reviewing sunscreens that either are new to me or not new to me, but I haven't used in a while and like finding so many good ones, also some that I could do without. So it's super fun for me. I feel like I'm just getting reacquainted with my collection and I hope you're enjoying it as well. If you are, give it a big old like, subscribe if you're not already, and we're gonna jump in. Here comes the sun and I say it's all right. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do it today is I'm gonna put the watery sun cream on my face as I would regularly. And then I'm going to go in on a second layer with the stick. Now, I don't think I need to go in with like this extra layer because I'm gonna be putting quite enough of the liquid one on, but I just wanna show you what this looks like. And I will also use it on my neck so you can see exactly what it looks like with nothing else on my neck. So that's what we're gonna do. And it is quite liquidy, so I would always recommend shaking pretty well. And then with these, since they are, like, especially this one, it's so liquidy. If you use the two or three finger length method, it's going to be good, but it's going to be hard. So I, I know it's not ideal, but I would recommend just getting yourself a quarter teaspoon because this one is so liquidy that it's a lot easier to do it like this. This is the Bio Watery Sun Cream SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. I bought it off of Amazon and I got the combo of both the stick and the liquid and it kind of worked out to be a reasonable price. But if you buy it alone on Amazon, it's $20, which is actually cheaper if you get it from like Stylevana or YesStyle. It's usually about $13 or $12 there. But if you are buying it from Stylevana or YesStyle, you also have to pay either shipping or wait a long time for it to get here. So you kind of weigh your pros and cons, but I will list all the different options of where to get it below. So this is a natural derived formula that absorbs moisture and softly provides a fresh finish without stickiness. It definitely has, they say that it has a soft matte finish and I would agree with that. As far as ingredients, you have cotton extract, it's cotton extract, wow. Herb AC complex, which let me read what this says. Four herb medicines with excellent anti-inflammatory effects. Herb medicine complex soothes skin and solves complex skin problems, wow. And then there is an anti-sebum pea, which is evening primrose, ginseng root, pine needles, and ginseng root extract. So it's supposed to help maintain excess sebum and pore elasticity, wow. It also has tremella mushrooms, hyaluronic acid, and Vigna radiata seed extract, which I don't know of. <laughs> all right, so now that it's all applied, I think you can tell how easily that went on. It really does dry down and like sink and absorb into your skin almost immediately, which I love, but you have this glow to your skin, so it's not gonna leave your skin super matte unless you have maybe the driest of the dry skin. But that said, I don't know if you have dry skin, if you're gonna love this. I think it might not give you enough moisture, but you could layer it over top of your moisturizer to get that kind of like double whammy. So I do think you can use it if you have dry skin, but I think for most people that have more normal to oily and combo skin, this is the one for you. This is exactly what you're looking for, something that is so, so easy. It doesn't leave your skin with a lot of excess kind of greasiness or oil, and you can layer other products underneath if you want, but also makeup on top. Now, I wanna show you what the stick is like. 
Um, the stick, you also get the same protection, so SPF 50 plus and PA plus plus plus, and you can go up and down this way. So I love that it's so simple and it actually snaps into place. A lot of times they don't snap into place, so then you're kind of left at like this in-between state, and it also goes all the way back down. So I'm gonna put this on my neck and show you, well, it's not easy to show you because it's invisible. This one also has the same kind of like cottony smell to it, and I feel like the stick is a little bit more matte than the liquid one. So if you're interested in a little, not super matte, but like just a little bit. Like it's not actually getting rid of the shine that I have right now, it's just kind of going on over top. Also, if you're noticing that my face is like a little red, it's not because of the sunscreen, it's because I have to batch film these videos and so I do them back to back to back and my face is ready for me to stop putting stuff on and taking it off. So it's not the sunscreen. I've worn this many times without any irritation. That's just from constant washing of my face. <laughs> About the stick. Now, I don't dislike this at all. I think it's a really great one, but I find that the, the consistency is a little bit, it could be a little smoother. I find that when you're putting it on your face, especially if you have maybe makeup or anything else on, it feels a little bit like it pulls at your face a little bit too much. Whereas like I have the Beauty of Josie on one and I have Isn't Tree, I also have AHC one. Those glide on so smoothly. And this one, it just has a little bit more of a tug and pull to it. So I wouldn't say that this is my favorite stick out of the sticks that I have. And I'm gonna do a video comparing the, those four that I just mentioned, but it's also a great option because I feel like when I use it on top of makeup, I will see the makeup kind of like, there's some, you know, that comes off the residue, but it doesn't like necessarily strip and take off all of my makeup. So it is good for reapplication if you are wearing a face of makeup or something like that. But I'll give you a spoiler. It's just not my favorite out of the four. This liquid one, let me tell you, I am obsessed with this. I'm so glad that I got it right before summertime because this is for me, like one of the ideal summer sunscreens. It's got high protection, it dries down, but it still leaves my skin nice and glowy. I don't really need extra glow, but it gives you this very natural kind of glow to your skin, like this radiance lit from within glow that I always enjoy. And of course there's no cast. I mean, I guess not of course, but hardly any chemical sunscreens, especially from Korea, are going to have a cast. And you saw just how easily it applied. I just think it's a spectacular formula. I, I don't think I mentioned it's 1.7 fluid ounces. So you're getting quite a bit, even if you are spending the more like expensive $20, getting it on Amazon and not YesStyle, you're still getting a really good deal compared to so many other sunscreens these days. All right, so I guess I can take this out, but I'm not gonna take my cat ears off because we need those. But that wraps it up. This is day eight. This is one of my favorite chemical ones. I think out of the ones that I've reviewed so far, this and the Purito are both chemical, but I like this one more than the Purito. Um, I'm looking over at my list, but yeah, out of the chemical ones that I have reviewed so far in this 14 days of sunscreen, this is absolutely my favorite so far. Um, and I think it would be a really good option for a lot of you out there that are wanting something just simple and easy and with high protection. So we're gonna end there for today. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do. Give it a like, and I will see you tomorrow for day nine. Bye guys.